my god. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very big challenge ahead of me. I can't tell if I'm excited or not. Basically, when I first moved into this apartment, everything had a home. All of my pens and markers were nicely organized and there was just enough space for everything. But obviously, since I have a problem, <laughs> I have collected some more pens and markers since then. So things have just been like piling up in different corners of my office and my apartment and it's not great. So today my mission is to go through all of it, reorganize everything, and hopefully consolidate it into a couple main areas. I'm very scared because there's just so much. I don't know how long this is gonna take and I don't even know whether I'm gonna be able to fit all of my pens and markers because, spoiler alert, I have a lot. But hopefully it all works out, fingers crossed. I'm kind of overwhelmed, but I think we just gotta sit down and do it, so let's get started. All right, so I think I'm gonna start off by emptying out this thing here. This is where I currently keep all of my different extra stationary items. If you watch my apartment tour or my office tour, then you'll know that all of my extra stuff is there, and then my essentials are on my desk over there. It's kind of messy right now, but I'm gonna empty it all out so I can see what we're working with, and then we'll figure it out from there. Why did I do this to myself? Wow, looking at this pile is very overwhelming. Why do I own this many pens and markers? This is really not okay. My main method of storage right now are these little desk cubes. They're awesome, they still work for me. It's just that I didn't have enough space. I ordered four more, so if all of my pens and markers don't fit in these, then I think we have another issue. These are just from Amazon, by the way. I will link them down below because I get a ton of questions about how I store my excessive amount of stationery. There's also different versions of these stackable desk cubes, like this one has drawers. I love that they store the pens horizontally, which is a lot better. Enough chatting, let's get started. I feel like this pen cube is pretty much done already. Uh, this is the one that I keep on my desk because it has all of my Crayola Super Tips, which you guys know I use the most. So yeah, luckily it fits the whole, I think I have both the 50 pack and the 100 pack in here. And it just happened like divided out by color. So the greens, the reds and the oranges, pinks and grays, and then blues and purples over here. So that one's good. I think I'm gonna start a brand new cube for my Tombow Dual Brush Pens because currently they're in this corner of my cube. As you can see, they stick out. That's why I love these cubes because the Tombow Dual Brush Pens are too long to fit in any drawer. Anyways, uh, currently I have it in this little corner of this cube, but I have more and they haven't been able to fit. So I'm gonna take these out and I'm just gonna put them in here. the Tombow Dual Brush Pens fit perfectly in half of the cube, very satisfying. But I think I'm going to just designate the other half of this to some more brush pens. So this will be like the brush pen cube. Yes, they perfectly fit, guys. So we have one cube down. This is my brush pen cube. So I'm gonna put this in. This next cube, I think, is going to be for more regular markers. So I have a bunch in separate pencil cases. That's how I've just been storing them recently. Uh, we have my Tombow Twin Tone markers. Oh yeah, and I have a bunch of the new Crayola Take Note permanent markers, so we'll put those in there as well. I like to separate all of my pens and markers out by brand. I know some people like to separate it out by color, but I just find that when I'm looking for something, I have a specific brand in mind, so it's just easier for me to organize it that way. But of course, you do you. Whatever works. I thought I would just put my Sharpie permanent mark markers in this cube as well. A 
again i've tried to keep things like somewhat organized within each section like even in the sharpie section i have the oil paint versions at the top and then the regular ones at the bottom obviously as i start using it it's probably gonna get jumbled up anyways but figured i would take that extra step so i'm gonna put this off to the side for now we'll get back to filling the rest just because i want to start some other cubes and see what we have left i think i'm gonna make this next cube for highlighters i have my zebra mild liners so i'm gonna put those in here <laughs> I had more highlighters but since I don't I think I can fit all of these highlighters into the marker cube <laughs> amazing I'm very glad that that combined into one because that saves us a lot of space so I think this cube is pretty much done I'll put that back here this cube is going to be for gel pens and like regular pens. So I have my Crayola ones that I think I'm going to put here. Then I have all of my Muji pens as well that I will put in here before I had it in this drawer. So I'll take those out. This is getting very overwhelming to look at. I have all of my Sakura Jelly Roll gel pens down here, so I'll just move those over. I'm also just putting some of the miscellaneous gel pens that I have over here just so that I can save some space. Okay, gel pens complete. Next cube, I think I'm gonna put fine liners in here, which is gonna be a big task because I have so many, but I think I'll start off by putting the Stabilo 88 fine liners. These are just, I think there's 12 of them. There's not too many, so I'll be able to fit something else in that little corner there. Before I had all of my fine liners in these drawer ones, but I think it's hard to keep them in there, so let's empty that out and transfer them over. right side section ended up being kind of like miscellaneous fine liners uh the ones that i don't have as many of top one obviously my one true love the sakura pigma microns bottom ones are copic and i think what i'm going to do is in this last section over here i'm going to put my smaller brush pens because even though they're brush pens and you know i have a brush pen cube back here i kind of consider small brush pens like fine liners because i sometimes use them as fine liners so we'll put like the tombow fudenoskes i have my sakura pigma professional brush pens which i love as well so let's put those in here i'm also going to put the colored tombow fudenoskes in here <laughs> found my Pentel brush pens as well so I'll put those in the same section as the Tombow Funose case since they're like similar thickness and then lastly I have my Faber-Castell pit brush pens so I'm actually gonna put that in this section with the other Faber-Castells my fine liner one is done that will fit right here oh my gosh that looks so satisfying this side of the cabinet is completely filled up so We'll move on to this side. Let me show you guys what I'm working with on the floor here though. Look at all of this. This is a mess. I think let's do like colored pencils and other art supplies. I already have my Prismacolor colored pencils in here. I'm gonna put the Tombow Eroja 10 colored pencils. These ones, I've been keeping them in the pack that it came in just because I had no space for them. But now I can finally put them in the rightful section there. I have my Copic 
markers here before they were in one of these drawers but I have another plan for these drawers so I'm gonna take it out and move it to the bottom of here. This one ended up being a little bit more miscellaneous but uh, there's still some organization to it. I merged all of the colored pencils at the top, so we have the Prismacolors, Tombos, and the Staedlers. Copics at the bottom, and then some more heavy duty, like these are like chalk markers. This cube is complete. Now I'm moving on to this drawer cube. I wanted to empty this one out before there was pens in it, but I think it works better for stuff like sticky notes, stickers, stuff like that. So at the bottom here I have some tabs that I'm gonna put. For the top drawer, I'm gonna put some miscellaneous washi tapes that I have because I actually have this little washi tape storage bin where I keep most of them. I think this is on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I have most of my washi tapes in here, but uh, not all of them fit. I think I'm just gonna keep this as is and just put that at the bottom, but the extra ones I will put in this drawer. This drawer is complete. Oh, I also have these uh, washi tape dispensers. These ones are also filled up. They're separated out by color. Not gonna change anything about these though, so I'll put that right next to my washi tape bin. Okay guys, I feel like I have finished most of it. We just have some odd bits and ends that I need to reorganize. Um, and I do have more cubes than I expected. I think I just consolidated very well. So this one's going to be kind of like a scrap and I think I'm gonna make this one with the drawers my junk kind of drawer. So I have like one-off pens and pencils in here. I got these little tab things come with the drawer cubes. They're meant to attach onto the top here so when you stack them they kind of connect together but since I'm not really stacking too much they're just kind of sitting in there um, I'm just gonna leave these all in here I guess that drawer at the top is just gonna stay empty I'm sure I'll figure something out to fill that with but that'll go right in here since I don't use it a lot I'll tuck it in and then this space here is where I'm going to put all of my like refills so I have my you know new set of Pigma microns jelly roll pens Pombo Fudanosuke's. I'll put the watercolor sets here and then I'll put my pencil sets over here. All right, y'all, we are done. Let me take you through the final result and walk you through everything. Uh, I did actually end up changing a couple things, not too much, but it's just because uh, I'm extra and I found some more uh, sets of markers and pens in my closet. This is the Crayola Signature Collection, which I love, so obviously I wanted to put it in here and find a home for it. First up over here, this was the brush pen cube, so I have all of my bigger brush pens. The bottom half is Tombow Dual Brush. The top over here is Kuratake. Here we have my Artline Sticks and Sakura coloring brush pens. Oh yeah, and then I have some like pencil tin sets that I just slid up there. And then over here, this is like my marker, regular marker cube. So the top we have the Crayola tape, Take Note permanent markers. The bottom we have Sharpies. These are the Zebra Mild Liners. These are a couple extra random markers, like these are the Uni Posca paint markers. And then over here, these are the Crayola highlighters as well as the Tombow dual tip fine liners. These ones have like a marker on one side and then a fine liner marker type of thing on the other side. On the bottom here, this cube is like my gel pen cube. So the bottom is all of my Sakura Jelly Rolls. Here are my Mujis, my beloved Muji gel pens. Some of my all time favorite gel pens to be honest. Um, we also have the clickable Mujis in here, um, some random gel pens, and then my other favorite gel pens, the Uniball Signo DX. This is the 0.38. I use these a lot to like write tasks in my bullet journal and stuff. And then in this section, before I actually had these two separated, these ones down here are the Office Depot clickable gel pens, and then these ones are the new Crayola Take Note gel pens. 
So I originally had the Crayola ones separated up here and then the Office Depot ones down here. I decided to combine them so that I would have space for the Crayola Signature Collection gel pens. These are the ones that came in this tin set up here and they perfectly fit. There's like the metallic ones, the glitter ones, and then the regular ones up there as well. Next to it, this cube is like my fine liner cube. So I have all of my Sakura Pigma Microns. <laughs> Seeing them all like this is very overwhelming. I definitely have a problem, but I use them every day. So I figure it's justified. And then the bottom ones here, these are the Copic fine liners. I use these a lot for when I'm doing art just because um, they're really good with handling water. So let's say I need to like, I don't know, do watercolor with them. These ones are great as well. On the side here, I actually have my smaller brush pens because as I mentioned earlier, I actually use small brush pens as fine liners sometimes. So I thought it would fit into this cube as well. Also, I don't have space in the brush pen cube anyways. So I have my Tombow Funanosuke brush pens, all of the different colors, Sakura professional brush, um, Pentel brush pens as well. These ones should actually be over here, I think. These little brush pens are from Stationery Island. They're a little bit more watercolory. And then on this side, I have some miscellaneous fine liners. So we have Stabilo, Faber Castells, and then some random ones oh yeah and staedtlers as well again at the top i've slid some new packs that i have stashed away just in case any of mine run out tucked away in this middle section it's kind of hard because this drawer unit it only showcases enough for like two cubes at a time but there's enough space in the middle for me to fit a whole cube but i thought i would just Put the cube in there anyways because the great thing about this unit is that it's actually pretty deep so if i need to access something i think i'll just be able to like slide this over and voila it's like a hidden little storage unit in there so this cube is like my art art supply cube if that makes sense i have my copic markers i also have these chalk markers i actually haven't used um the colored ones but i've used the white one before uh, and then up here I have all of my coloring pencils. So this one, again, I don't use these as often, so I think it's fine that it's kind of in this middle section here that's not as easily accessible. And then the same goes for the bottom. I have another cube that I don't need as easy access to, so just push this back slide this over. Anyways, these are some more brush pens, the ones that didn't really fit in the main brush pen cube. So I have my Crayola Signature Collection. These are the dual tipped ones. I actually really love these. I wish they would be able to fit in this so that I would have easier access. And then these ones over here are just watercolor brush pens. So slide that back. This side is more so for the non-pen and marker stuff. So I have the cubes that have the drawers. What I ended up doing was initially I had this washi tape container flipped this way, but then I realized, you know, got to use as much space as possible. So I just flipped it upwards and I was able to fit a whole other cube. This top drawer, I have like miscellaneous sticky items. So I have like random washi tape, some sticky notes, some sticky tabs back there as well. Down here, we have erasers, pencil, lead refills, whiteout rolls, and then my glue tape adhesive, which you guys know I love these so, so much. So I always have a restock of them because I go through those pretty fast. Next to it, I have my washi tape dispensers. Again, got these on Amazon. I think they're super cute, but I wish they could fit more rolls. They pretty much only fit four at a time, but I mean, I've separated it out by color, so I think they're still pretty cute. And also, someone told me this when I showed this in my office tour, I think. This little tape cutter part flips around so you can decide whether you want a bigger jagged line on your washi tape or a thinner one, which I think is pretty cool. So I have two in the front and then two in the back there. Down here is where I have my main washi tape storage. So this container, again, from Amazon, you can see I have all of the different colors and thicknesses and stuff. I think I have too much washi tape. <laughs> I don't even use it that often. I just like collecting it and I think it's really pretty. So that's why I have a whole container of them. Again, I have flipped my two watercolor sets upwards to create more storage space. So these are the two 
Sakura Koi watercolor set. This drawer cube is kind of like my junk drawer. I feel like everyone needs a junk drawer. And if you don't have one, you're lying to yourself. At the top, we have my excessive paper clip collection. So in here, I have my rose gold ones, the ones that are shaped as jewels. What else do we have? These ones are like heart shaped, which I think are cute. Clothes pins, I use these on my little display grid. And I also have my bowl clips that I use a lot to hold down my bullet journal pages. In this bottom drawer, this is where I have more miscellaneous items. So like random one-off mechanical pencils and gel pens and random pens. Like I don't even think there's like specific brands that I can even combine them into. I just have that down there. So anyways, that is it for, oh wait, no, that's not it. I meant to show you what was on my desk because I ended up keeping this pretty much the same. So on my desk here, I have two of the desk cubes. I honestly feel like I could have just gotten away with one, but then I would just have this random extra one that wouldn't fit. So this one's on my desk as well. Anyways, I always keep my Crayola Super Tips on my desk just because I use these the most often. This desk cube, I just have scissors, a USB, um, random stuff. And on the top here, this is where I just keep my pencil case. And this has all of my go-to bullet journaling supplies. I always keep it in a pencil case and that way when I'm on the go and I need to grab my bullet journal, I can just grab my pencil case and be reassured that I have everything that I need, all of my fine liners, the accent colors for the month. But nonetheless, I'm very happy with how it all turned out and I'm glad I forced myself to do it because before having all of the stationary things scattered around my apartment was stressing me out and I feel like now having it all in one place will encourage me to try using different stationary items, you know, step outside of my comfort zone a little. Maybe it was relaxing or satisfying to you or maybe you're just more concerned about my addiction to pens and markers. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so that was everything. We have successfully reorganized all of my pens and markers. I can't believe I managed to do it. Honestly, pat on the back. I did a very good job. I don't know if this video is gonna turn out well. I feel like it was kind of a mess. It was hard to film everything and show the proper angles, but if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. You can also click that bell button down below so you never miss a new video from me. And if you wanna see more stuff, from me, you can go follow me over on my Instagram at Amanda Rachel Lee. Keep doodling and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone.